We are learning more about Gunman this hour. He was a student who lived in one of the dormitories on campus. The Virginia Tech president spoke to our John Roberts just a short time ago. This uh, campus is, is dealing with uh, not only an unprecedented tragedy, but also questions as to whether or not more could have been done to mitigate the damage. Charles Steger is the uh, dean of Virginia Tech. He's been dean well, since... Uh, president. President, I'm sorry, of uh, Virginia Tech. Been president since the year 2000. Do you have any more information, uh, yes. President Steger, about the shooter? We, we do know he was an Asian... I'm talking about the second mass event. Mm -hmm. An Asian male who was a resident in one of our dormitories. He was one of our students. Right. Now, when you say the second mass event, are you separating that away from the there first were, event? Could there potentially be two shooters? There could be. We don't know. The investigation is still unfolding. But we had one shooting early in the morning that uh, initially, and, and we don't know the answer to this, appeared to be a domestic fight, perhaps a murder-suicide. It was characterized by our security people as being contained to that dorm room. As we were working through the, uh, what we were going to do to deal with that, the message came on over the radio that another shooting across campus was taking place, and that's when the large number of people were killed. Do you believe that there could be a second shooter still at large here? We don't think so. Right. The, one, of the, one of the big points of controversy here, and, and this comes from every student sure. at Virginia Tech that I have talked to, is why was there a two-hour and ten-minute lag between the time that there was the shooting at West AJ at 7.15 and the time that the email went out right. at 9.26 notifying students that something had happened? Well, first of all, when the event happened at AJ, the dormitory was immediately closed down. It was surrounded by security guards. The streets were cordoned off, and the students in the building were notified of what was going on. We also had to find witnesses because we didn't know what had happened. The individuals who were wounded, or at the time one was uh, dead, we think, I'm not sure about that, were sent to the hospital, and it was based on the interrogation of the witnesses that we think there was another person involved. And so we wanted to be sure we could gather as much accurate information before taking steps. But it was the, the situation was characterized as being uh, confined to that dormitory room. We mm -hmm. thought we had it under control. And I don't think anyone could have predicted that another event was going to take place uh, two hours later. You know, I've reviewed the crime stats at least right. for the last three years here at Virginia Tech. You've, you've had no murders right. on campus. It's a very, you know, Wouldn't an incident like this have been treated in such a way that you would have sent an alarm out immediately at least to warn students that something had happened? Well, we warned the students that were, we thought, immediately impacted. You have to appreciate that of the 26,000 students here, only 9,000 are on campus. So at that time of the morning, you've got about 15,000 people in transit, 7,000 employees, and on any given day, two, 3,000 visitors. So the question is, you have to decide what it is you're going to do with them. We felt that in the confining them to the classroom was how to keep them safest. President Steger, we've heard from a, at least a couple of students, they say the Virginia Tech Police Department blew it here. Is I that fair? I don't think it's fair at all. I think they have worked uh, very professionally and handled this as skillfully as anybody might be able to do it. Is President Bush coming today for, the, is, for this uh, ceremony this it's afternoon? It's my understanding that's under consideration. Right. Yeah. Would you like to see him here? Would his presence be disruptive? That's a concern of the White House. They don't want to bring the president here if well, you've already got too much on your plate. We, we certainly would be happy to have the president if he chooses to come. And, and what sort of services are you offering for your students here now? Well, we have a whole series of uh, counseling centers open. We, the local clergy, have volunteered, and we'll be bringing online other types of specialized services. As you know, this is very traumatic for the campus. You're going to have to go through the stages of mourning and different types of support structures required as you do that. But we will spare no effort in working with our student body to deal with this. President Steger, thanks very much for Thank your you, time. Sir. I appreciate okay. it. Let's return now to our colleagues.